What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Uh, so to start, we went ahead and spent our echoes, put all three points into skill. Uh, now we are going to be getting a strength up as well. How earlier I was talking about being a quality build, it doesn't really matter uh, whether we're doing skill or strength. Uh, that is true, but we still want to get both stats up to 25. 25 is uh, the first real soft cap for that stat. It goes 25 and then 50. So kind of similar to how Vitality, we want to get up to 30 and then up to 50 and then it really drops off. Skill and strength both really scale well up till 25 and then up to 50 and then they have a hard drop. So either way, we went uh, with more decks for now, but hop on over here to the Nightmare Frontier. Now this area is definitely sucky. Uh, as a reminder, you're going to want to be in offline mode to avoid the invasions. And right at the start here, pretty much as soon as we run outside, there's going to be a Skitters. And get where did he go? Where the hell's he at? Why am I not seeing my skitters? There should be a skitters right here. Skitter right outside at the beginning. There he is. I was like, I know there's a skitters here. Where the hell are you hiding? And this area is filled with them, so it's definitely a good zone to go to. Lots of uh, lots of skitters and super skitters and upgrade mats. Even though you couldn't lock onto that guy, he is a bad guy, and he will try to kill you. I want to take him out. Um, proceed up for Madman's Knowledge on your left. Charge to hit the baddie. Eh, let me out. Let me out. There we go. I'm going to go over here and drop for a Let Elixir. All right, so facing the bridge, if we look, kind of see them. There's a, that right there, that's a Mega Skitters. So it's basically, it's still just a Skitters, but a much, much bigger version of him. And we're going to try and get a plunge on it. Uh, just like a Skitters, this thing can run away. So you want to zerg it and get him as much damage as you can. Now that he has left, we can go over here and grab our loots. Whew, man. I also like skitters, you can always just reload if they escape. path up. No! No! Oh, he got away. Took too long doing the visceral. Reload real fast. This place is going to be filled with those dudes, so lots of, uh, lots of restarts. Uh, you thought you escaped, didn't you? Fortunately, there is no escape, my little friend. Become the loot that will fuel my upgrades. Okay. Uh, so going up ahead, uh, this teal lantern you see, consider this kind of like a checkpoint. Um, and there's going to be some hunters that we're going to have to fight. If we see just a little bit, they should show up. There they are, taking their sweet time. This bridge is kind of like our safety point. They don't really like to, to go past this. Just be careful, because the last thing you want to do is fall into the, uh, the big swampy pit down below. There's the second one. Uh, and that auger that we picked up, we can use that to get parries the same way we would with a gun. Which is what makes it so great, because since we are two-handing this weapon, and we don't have easy access to a firearm without going into the one-handed version. 
It is fairly slow. But what I like to do is swing a couple times. Kind of like a setup parry almost. And even if you miss the parry, anything that isn't considered a large status enemy, things like the giants, um, the auger will knock down most enemies. It has a very nice stagger on it. So, at the at a bare minimum, it's going to give you some space. We got our lead elixir. Wonderful. Um, I'm going to take the panther face in the bridge. Kill the skitter and beast. Um, fight the two hunters, use the bridge. Ahead is another skitters. Could be another skitter somewhere along this path. Well, there's this guy. We don't want to do that yet. Where's the skitters? There should be a skitters around here. Anyway, we're going to take the left path. We'll go get the rune and then we'll. Uh, I'll reload here. Having Lake. Backtrack and drop for a madman's knowledge. Avoid the swamp. Go straight instead of down. I see him now. Oh, we'll drop first. Madman's. There are you. So many of them, honestly. It's kind of it's kind of tricky, just because there's <laughs> like they they even blend in very easily into the overall aesthetic of this level. Makes it kind of hard to to keep track. Alright, uh, so you can go down this way if you want. This is a connection into the swamp. We are not, we're going to save the swamp for the next episode more than likely. Uh, the swamp has a lot of poison, uh, some things down there that will cause frenzy. And basically it's like something you're going to want to prep for altogether. So just to kind of show if we were to take this. Well, we'll get this one, Skitters, just to... Oh no, actually, never mind. This is where we're supposed to go. Oh! Yep. Nope, 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 nope. Forgot about this. Hang on. Uh, I'm gonna start go swamp. After the blood vial, there's a skitters ahead, but... Uh... It's an ambush. Okay, never mind. This is where we go. Never mind. Never mind. The swamp that I was talking about avoiding... Is right there. There's the swamp. Yes. So avoid the swamp. Head down here. Grab the vials. Kill this guy. Uh, watch out for the ambush there. Scroll my notes. Uh, try to avoid the boulder before killing it. You might get booped. There's a skitter by the first giant, bolt paper by the second giant, and then afterwards backtrack along the wall and drop for a flower bud. So we got the skitters. Um, we're going to run over here for another skitters. Uh, one thing that's easy, we don't need to charge attack anymore. Just get behind something, use auger. And then, oh my god, the rocks. We might need to go take him out first. The giants are honestly the most annoying part about this area. At the very least, we'll take this one out. Especially because the, the boulders don't... Like, it doesn't look like these boulders should be hitting us. But they do hit us. Which is what's so irritating about it. Like, they break apart and have this ridiculous-ass hitbox. Yeah, so the auger, hitting a target from behind with the auger has the same effect as uh, doing a fully charged attack, except it's instant and it just costs uh, one, one bullet, and then we get two bullets for doing the visceral. So, it's a very effective system. I don't know if I picked up the bolt paper. I feel like I was too panicked to even notice, and I did. Go up here, drop down. It's a cold flower of blood. Um, continue up and left the first giant, let elixir after bridge, then kill giant number three. Afterwards, swing left for skitters in a shortcut.
do not remember. Did I? I had to have grabbed the, the bolt. I don't know. I, I like, <laughs> I have terrible short-term memory when it comes to combat. No, I didn't. There it is. It looked like it right there. There we go. The bolt paper. I was like, maybe I just grabbed it. Who knows? All right. So down we go. You can fight this guy if you want. For now, we're gonna run and take out this asshole first. God, I hate giants. Should have been a lead elixir after the bridge. Um, scroll, swing left for skitters and a shortcut. Oh, there we go. Lead elixir after the bridge. Kill giant number three. Swing left for skitters and a shortcut. Turn around and go left for a big skitters. There's our skitters, leading us to the shortcut. Oh my god. Can't believe we just fucked that up. Well, we're gonna run back to there. This way. Down. That's actually a shortcut right there, and it just didn't... Uh, did not drop for us. Very disappointing. That guy dangling. Easy to get back there, though. Almost there. Almost there. We'll need to reload him, but we'll get the shortcut first. Alright. We'll get this, get the big skitters, and then we are going to loop our way down into the bigger swamp, not the, the swampy river. And after that, we will make our way towards, uh, towards the boss. Alright, so we got him dead over here for the big skitters. No, you little bitch! Oh my god. I can't believe it. I'm letting them escape. I mean, to be fair, that skitter just knocked me on my ass twice. Thing was not messing around. It was like, fuck you, dude. You're not getting me. You can't have my upgrade mats. They're mine. One, one benefit of the PS5. Faster loads to do this with. escape this time. Ooh, okay. So, with the big skaters down, now we are going to cross this bridge right here. Alright, uh, so we want to go down and follow the coins. Uh, this is going to be, there's, there's a piece of loot right there, but we're going to get uh, basically ambushed. So make sure you have a bold hunter's mark on. Right when we drop down, I guess we could play this one cutscene. The spider patches showing up and pushing us into the swamp in true patches fashion. Just loves kicking people into pits, doesn't he? So anyway, after that, just go on and pop a bullet hunter's mark to get out of the swamp. And we're gonna grab all that loot a bit later. 
Um, but for now, it's just not, it's not worth dealing with. And even though the Bold Hunter's Mark will respawn enemies, because we got that shortcut done already, um, it's, it's pretty much going to be hassle-free for us. A lot of the stuff that would respawn isn't a concern anymore. So, Hunter's Mark and just right back over here. Except this time, we can actually get the loot. And kick us down twice, right? Um, that's the cold blood thing. That is a uh, chalice dungeon thing to make chalice dungeons. Um, anyway, um, take mid path and swing to the right for clockwise metamorphosis. There we go. Um, ambush giant, and then we're gonna go up top. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> that's one way to take care of the giant. Um, don't worry about that loot for now. So that we're going to move here. And we're going to run up top. We'll grab the blood vial. And another skitters. Go here. Um, that, what's that shiny down there? Is that the giant? No, that's a corpse. Piece of loot that I did not grab. It's the stunning deep sea. Oh, we would have worked around to get that. Um, let's see. Up top for skitters, take the path right. Keep dropping. Pick up stunning deep sea and kill the aliens and grab cold. Okay. Another thing to mention, even though the auger looks big, it can actually only target one enemy at a time. So even if there's like four enemies grouped up, auger is only going to, to hit a single enemy despite what the, the hitbox looks like visually. Um, afterwards, we're going to drop and do most of the swamp. You'll want to have your uh, antidotes on deck. And then this is actually a good time to switch to a poison set as well. Not those. Those are not antidotes. Antidotes are at the top. There go. Uh, slow poison. So, white church. Okay, so, we have the madman's knowledge. Um, and there's a couple. Let me see here. Madman's knowledge. Ow. You know what, we're gonna... <clears throat> I, I had a whole path planned out, but we're taking care of this asshole first, because I don't like giants. Uh, you can potentially use a blue elixir to sneak through this area. Make things a little bit easier, but... We're gonna take care of all these giants first, because I don't feel like dealing with their bullshit. There we go. He's down in the swamp. Clear deep sea. Let's get rid of that other giant. And grab this guy. Nothing like flying by the edge of our seat. Get the skitters. No! You son of a bitch. Anyway, so the loot's down here. Um, there's the madmans we grab, the antidotes on the left, haul ass to the final giant for a cold dew, go up the right side to kill him. Grab the room behind him and cross from him, you'll see one last giant. Kill him and get the cold flower. Cool, that was a close one. We almost got away again. Oh, shits. All right, so this is the original swamp entrance that I had pointed out. Um, this is a path that we could have come down from. 
is uh, right here. This is like where we where we saw that guy. Um, make our way through this, killing all of them, and then we'll grab the loots. Actually, the giants that we ha ah, ha ha ha! No, get off of me, tentacle beasties! I'm gonna try the blue elixir strat. I've never done this here, but we'll see how well it works. If it lets these, us avoid the giants, then it is a winning strategy in my book. We got antidotes here. We grabbed the madman's over there. We grabbed the loot that was in that cave. We have the loot up there. And then there's the cold blood and then the final enemy. And yeah, it looks like you can just walk through here with blue elixir to switch. Definitely makes this easier. Oh no. My blue elixir ran off. But I can actually show you a shortcut to get back here even faster now that we've died. So, not really the end of the world here. Alright, so from the base of the Nightmare Frontier, what you're gonna do here is run right past this guy. And right over here, where we fought our first big skitters, right here, kind of the start of the swamp, we're just going to drop down. We're gonna take some damage, obviously, but it's not gonna kill us. And this will actually pop us out uh, right in the swamp, so. This is kind of where we drop down from up top, so that we manage to just go straight there. See, that's, that's what I don't like about these guys. They're assholes. Like, that rock should not have hurt me. But still did. Anyway, um... Let me, let me rearrange some stuff here real fast. This should be my... Auger. Should be my blood. Um, so next we need to put on sedative. And in addition to that, uh, you want to put on graveyard. And then ashen... Ashen and Ashen. So we're putting this on for the Frenzy Resist. The Frenzy Resist on Graveguard is pretty good. Graveguard's kind of more balanced. Um, but we want the Frenzy Resist for what is coming up. So what we have next is our first introduction to a Winter Lantern. Now I want to explain these enemies briefly because they're probably my most hated enemy in Bloodborne. Uh, they have great gems, so they're great to farm. However, just by staring at you, they build up something called Frenzy. When Frenzy procs, you're going to take a huge chunk of your health. So because of that, they're deadly. Uh, they can also grab you, and then while they're holding you down, they'll continue to build Frenzy. So you take damage from the grab, and then after that, they end up kind of just killing you. Uh, very, very hard enemy. Uh, so you're going to want to have uh, sedatives ready, and honestly, the best way to fight these things is to just zerg them and beat them down. You can potentially get a stun off on them, like a, a parry stun, but honestly, I wouldn't. I'd recommend just killing him. So, especially with the weapon that we're using, and then use that sedative fast. There we go. There's going to be a couple of them in this area, so just be ready. Um, swing. No, I thought there was loot back here. Let's see. Um, let me scroll my notes. Do 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 do. Um, swing down and left for big skitters and some loot. Oh, here's my big skitters. Ow! What the fuck, bro? Oh my god. I'm so tired of these big skitters escaping. There's our frenzy cold blood. 
We start again. This is honestly my most disliked area. Like, there's a couple areas in Bloodborne where I'm like, eh, I don't know about this. But this one, oh my god. I hate this area. I hate it so much. You got all this shit that, that disappears after it attacks you. You have the poison swamp. You have the, the frenzy ladies. Like, honestly, any other time I would, I would come here uh, normally, I would come here strictly to uh, basically do that drop down that we did to, like, get into the swamp, rush straight through the swamp, kill the boss, and leave. But there's, like, actually a lot of upgrade mats and shit that you can get here that makes it important. Um, this will drop you down into the next part of the swamp we're going to do. Don't go there for now. You're going to have a bad time. So they go over here and get the skitters. Good runes and shit that we need to get. Yes. Alright, swing down big skitters and loot. Madman's knowledge and other skitters. Um, let elixir down the back path. Grab the final loots and sprint for the elevator. Which, thank god, we are almost at the end of this hellhole. And that's singing, that's another, uh, another Winter Lantern. So the boss is that way, we're not going there for now. Instead, there is a amazing shortcut that lets us skip. Well, we basically go straight to the boss with it. Run up here, that guy should fall down. And then hit this. And this is very, very close. So right up here, this is that very first drop. First enemy we killed, Lantern's right here. Uh, so we're gonna warp back, um, spend our echoes on, on a uh, more skill for now. Um, for the next part, we are we do have the boss coming up, but we need to go into the swamp area and get all the swamp loots that we had skipped before. I figured it'd be easier to just you know, cover those in a separate episode. Basically, get through the bulk of the zone first, and then worry about going through and uh, getting all that side stuff. So, either way, stay tuned. In the next part, we're going down into the swamp. A um, couple important things here, too. One, there's a... Uh, I don't want to say hidden, but there is a hunter's tool that's tucked away. Uh, that ends up being one a lot of people are missing for getting their platinums. So... Stay tuned, and next episode I'll catch you with Amidala, as well as the rest of this zone, and maybe even Bergamworth for a, uh, a two-parter old one. We'll see.